Well, hello there, greetings. It is Tanya Poole and welcome to Spring Alchemy episode four, I believe. We are still in Taurus season and this episode is all about how to self-care during Taurus season. So as you know, um, Spring Alchemy and all the Alchemy series is about how to utilize the energy of the season to benefit you <laughs> in the best way possible. And when it's Taurus season, no matter when your birthday is, we are all experiencing that Taurus energy. We are all basically Taurians. Is that what they call themselves? I don't know. Y'all Taurus people, let me know if that's what you call yourself. <laughs> we are all Tauruses during this time. And today is actually May 15th. So we are, today is the day of the new moon in the sign of Taurus. So we have the Taurus new moon and the sun is in Taurus. And this is just a powerful time to utilize that energy of Taurus. So what is this energy all about? If you watched the previous episode, you know that the Taurus energy is very much about self-worth, value, money, love. Um, Taurus is an earth sign. So it likes all things tangible. Um, all things physical. It's a sign that happens right in the middle of spring. So right when all the flowers are blooming, I don't have any flowers behind me, but there's some greenery back there. <laughs> and um, nature is coming alive. So it's the time when, when we should be coming alive and we are blooming, you know, we are bringing our own um, self-worth and our own sweetness and our own, um, all of the beautiful things that make us who we are. We're bringing that to to, to light, to life, and to the surface. And so when we self-care during this time, with Taurus being an earth sign, this is the time to do all those earthy types of things. Like, um, and I know I said this last, uh, last season during the Aries video, but this really is the time to luxuriate. This really is the time to um, ask yourself, what am I worth? what makes me valuable um it's like that commercial some years ago i think it was l'oreal that was about um and you're worth it you know she would always say that at the end of the commercial and it was to justify you know beautifying herself or coloring her hair or whatever she was doing in the commercial and that is a very taurus type of thing you know taurus ask us to ask ourselves what are we worth and if we are, we have high value and we, which I believe we all are, I mean, we're divine beings in human form. So if we are worth, um, if our worth is high and we know our self-worth and we um, have a high level of self-love, how do we demonstrate that? How do we cultivate that within ourselves? That really could be demonstrated through pampering yourself, through, um, you know, taking time to sunbathe, you know, allowing the sunlight to hit you, to um, going to the spa, to um, getting your hair done. And all these things are not just for outward beauty, for looking good on the outside, but it's to tell your body, you know, because again, Taurus is a very physical, earthy sign. So it's telling your physical self that you are worthy of being nurtured, for being cared for, for eating good food. You know, Taurians love eating. <laughs> so this is a time to eat well, you know, um, to eat things that, that, that not only taste good, but are good for you. Um, to do things that are not, not only feel good, but that are good for you. Um, this time is also a great time for managing your money. Taurus is all about making them coins and making them coins last and stretch and go forth, right? So how are you taking care of your finances? Um, know that you're worthy of not only earning a lot of money, but you're worthy of, of creating um, savings accounts and portfolios um, that create generational wealth. So that is also a part of self-worth and self-value and self-care. So, so the question that Taurus asks you and asks me is how are we investing in ourselves? How are we demonstrating on a daily basis our self-worth and our self-value? And then, because it's always bigger than just us, right? How then do we carry that self-worth and that self-value into the world? How does it benefit others? How does it increase 
um, the world around us? How does it bring increase to the people in the world around us? So that is what this Taurus, you know, this uh, Taurus self-care is, is asking us to do is just, you know, knowing who we are, knowing what we're worth, knowing that we are worth something of great value. And um, just like we treat anything that that we paid a lot of money for, like your, you know, your house, your car, your <laughs> um, anything that you value and you take care of it and you love it and you nurture it. Um, Taurus season is asking us to self care in that way to treat ourselves um, in that way. And even the new moon, the new moon that is occurring tonight in um, a few hours. Well, it's already happening, I believe, but you just can't see it because it's still daylight. But um, it's asking us to set intentions um, that will allow that self-worth and that self-value to grow and to to grow and to build and to build over time and a lot of times those people who follow like moon cycles and things we we look at new moon and then full moon and then new moon and then full moon and we forget that um, it's just a little quick lesson here but if there is a a new moon in a particular sign six months later we'll have the full moon in that same sign so while we're experiencing and enjoying the new moon in the sign of taurus right now during may 2018 um later on about november we will have um, during scorpio time we will have a full moon in the sign of taurus so the intentions that we set now on how to love ourselves better how to um build greater self-worth and self-value, whether it's in our money or in our how we eat or how we actually take care of our physical bodies, um, we should see the fullness of that within six months from now. Um, and so we tend to forget those things, right? We, we set intentions or we set new desires and wishes and goals, and then we forget that we started it. <laughs> so, um, you know, we're in the middle of spring. So by the middle of fall of this year, we should see the fruit of what we began now and during that time. And so that is pretty much it for how to self-care during Taurus season. I talk more about um, how to self-care in my book, The Magic of Self-Love. I have a chapter called The Magic of Self-Care and I share some, you know, some personal stories on how I learned the hard way, <laughs> why it's so important to um, have a self-care routine um, and, and self-care habits. And also there's a chapter called um, The Magic of Your Love Story. And so if you don't know why you're worthy, if you don't know your self-worth, and your self-value, that particular chapter will help you to uh, discover your own personal love story. What makes, you know, I, I think I asked the question in that chapter, I say, is, is the thoughts that run through your head about yourself, are they loving and joyous or are they like a tragic horror story? <laughs> so, you know, so I talk about that in that particular chapter. So you can get the book, damn, The Magic of Self-Love on amazon.com and until we meet again check me out at tanyapool.com and what's next gemini season is coming up next so i will see you in a few weeks peace and love